over 30 years, Evangelist Reinhold Bunkin has gone throughout Africa and the rest of the world, proclaiming the truth of the gospel. Jesus saves, Jesus heals, Jesus truly loves you. There is a God who loves you. There is a way to know him. The price for your sins and mistakes has been paid. Stealing is a sin. Amen. Now listen, listen. I'm speaking here today about restitution. Restitution. Say amen. Amen. And what I say may not sound very nice to some people here. Do you still love me if I preach the gospel? It's one thing in a meeting like this to stand here and say, Lord Jesus, yes, I am a thief and I forgive me my sins and then it's okay. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus has forgiven you, no doubt, because he has promised it. Jesus But what about all the stolen stuff under your roof? Ma. What about there? All the stolen stuff under your roof. It's not just to say, Lord, forgive me, but we must make restitution. If you agree with me, say Amen. Because the stolen stuff is the devil's stuff. Shall I tell you why some Christians have nightmares all the time? Do you want to know? Do you really want to know? I'll tell you why some Christians have nightmares almost every night. Because they sleep every night under a stolen blanket. Or they sleep in a stolen bed. Hey. Shall I tell you why some Christians have got stomach ulcers and cannot be healed although everyone has prayed for them? Because every day they eat from a stolen plate. <laughs> hey! I say this because I love you. I say to you in the name of Jesus. 
Remove all unrighteousness from your home and you will cast out every devil with it together. Say Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. If you've got the devil's property in your house, the devil has a right to come to your house because he wants to inspect his property. But obey Jesus Christ and you will seal your family from all evil spirits. Say Amen. Marubere Jesus Christ is he. He gets you to our Zabutes in Ologe, Nimen Pampo Johnny Lenkajomo. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hey. I heard a story that touched me, my heart very much. There was a man, he was an expert in stealing goats. He liked goat's meat, so whenever the family had a need, he knew how to steal a goat without anybody realizing. Year after year they ate their goat meat and they were never found out. From January to December, Anu Kacha said they don't work out. And that man had four small sons. And one day the father said to his sons, My sons, today I will teach you how to steal a goat. But today we will slaughter the goat on the spot. We just take home the meat. I gave neighbor, my So when they came to the place where the goats were, the father said to one of his boys. He said, you watch that direction. To the other one, he said, you watch that direction. To the third, he said, you watch that direction. And to the last, he said, you watch that direction. And when anybody comes, you quickly come to me. So that I know. Hey, Papa. Yes, Papa. Papa. Yes, we will, we will call when somebody comes. So the, the father, the boys were in position. The father went for the gold. And when he got a ram, and he struck, and he wanted to strike the knife. Suddenly, his boy over there screamed. He came running and crying. He said, Papa! I said, Papa! 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 The father said, Son, who, is somebody coming? Papa, the boy said, Papa, we watch that way, we watch that way, we watch that way, we watch that way, but who watches that way? Listen, you may be an expert. And nobody may ever find you out, but somebody is watching. Somebody is watching. God knows everything. Hallelujah. 
Gita no one on your hoge. Mato River came on our own on your ele, on your own elu, Tineke Bona. I challenge and charge each and every one. Anna Mamma, on your Bulan on Ebaka. Prepare the way for the Holy Spirit. Jikere dozu zoge makamwonso and make restitution where you have cheated people. Kuachi ndini le ndi wogura wogu ye achi hinye ha. Amen. Amen. Hey. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I read the story of a man who got saved that touched my heart. And I know what touches my heart will touch your heart. Can I quickly tell you? This man was a shoe repairer. A shoe repairer. People brought those old shoes and here he fixed them. The man was a drunk. He was against God. He hated God. He hated everybody, including himself. On Sunday morning, he first went to the beer house to drink. And when he came back from the beer house to his shop, he passed around the church. And when he heard the people sing on Sunday morning in church, he spat against the church. Okay. Okay. So he went back to his shop and he was now repairing shoes and he hit that old shoe with a hammer ten times stronger than the nail needed it. Suddenly his little daughter, she went sometimes to Sunday school and she started to sing. song she had learned at Sunday school. With her sweet little voice. She sang just as I am. Um, without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, O blessed Lamb, O Lamb of God, I come. He was furious. He said, Mary, stop that nonsense. Where did you learn that dirty song? Little Mary, shut up. She was scared. He got a bigger hammer even for the shoe and was nailing. The shoes. But you know, little girls easily forget. And suddenly, that sweet little voice in the corner rose again. Mary, where we don't go up, Abuyoso. Just as I am without one plea, but that. Thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come, what I, I come. 
He said, Mary, if you sing that dirty song one more time, I throw the hammer at you. <laughs> now I say, Mary, in one one, go to your so you have a nante. Get with a hammer, go ask you easy. But you know as little girls are, they easy forget. Emana come back and say, me. And there that little voice came up again. Just as I am, O Lamb of God, I come. But no hammer was flying. Suddenly a loud noise and Mary was shocked. Her father had fallen off his stool. He was lying on the ground. Screaming. Oh Lamb of God, I come. Oh, Jesus, forgive me. Jesus, for half an hour he screamed. Suddenly Jesus appeared. That's what he said later on. Jesus touched him. And peace and forgiveness entered his heart. That man became a man of God. For the law of salvation has made me free from the law of sin and death. This woman was totally deaf and dumb from birth. Yes. From birth. Yes, from birth. She is 24 years old. She came all the way from Lagos. Totally deaf and dumb. Now a miracle has taken place. She can now hear and she can speak. Repeat what I say. Say one. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. 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 Jesus. 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 Has. Has. Healed me. Has he. Healed me. Healed me. Hallelujah. Hey. This is powerful. I bless this woman in the name of Jesus. Amen. Great is your faith. Go in peace in Jesus name. Amen. What was wrong with your baby? Well, uh, uh, last week, she has a very high fever, and she got crippled. So I took her to two hospitals. Nothing happened. We treated everything we can. So we rushed her to teaching hospital. So it was throughout the week, I was in the teaching hospital. So it was uh, uh, yesterday. So they insisted I should donate blood, but that has been, I don't want to donate that blood since we came in. So yesterday night, uh, day before yesterday night, I donated this blood to be transfused to her. But I still pray that it is only the blood of Jesus can get my life, child alive. So this morning, I, I, because yesterday night she was so down, and she, she was about at the point of death. So by 4 a.m. this morning, I told my wife to take her to Zenith Hospital last night. So when she got there, and I dressed up, I came to fire conference. So as we were talking about the receiving fire, so I believed, and I said, let the fire come down. Immediately my head grew hot. Even right now my ears are still hot. So I stood and I said, let, because her name is Joy, let her receive her healing wherever she is. 
So after the fire conference, I traced your place. I couldn't get you. So I decided getting to the hospital. When I reached to the hospital, they said the doctor sent her back to teaching hospital. When I get to the teaching hospital, I couldn't find anybody. So I retired to my office. When I came to my office, I saw my child standing in front of my computer. Scott. See. So I, I really thank God for everything. In fact, I don't know how I can really thank you, sir. Well, we thank the Lord. This is the handwriting of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Look at this. Look at the packing, the packing slip here on the blood and everything. God bless you. Great is your faith, my brother. Great is your faith. Hallelujah. And according to your faith, Jesus has healed your child. Hallelujah. What a beautiful child. Look at her. Look at her. Will she come to me? She comes to me. Look at this beautiful baby. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray for little joy. Yes, I thank you that you have spared her life. Yes, God. I thank you that goodness and mercy shall follow her Amen. all the days of her life. And she will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. I bless the twin. I bless the father. Amen. I bless the mother. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, after you have seen what you have just seen, I'm sure you are convinced that Jesus is on a big salvation spree. He has said that he will save anyone who comes to him. He said, he said, whosoever comes to me, I will under no circumstances refuse. And he will now accept you if you come to him how do you come to him you come to him in prayer remember I spoke about that arrow I spoke about the target there is coming a correction into your life salvation will come to you whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved and I'm going to lead you in that prayer of salvation which is my great great privilege but Jesus himself will answer it, correct your life so that you will find that glorious and that eternal target. Just pray together with me. Repeat this prayer by letting your heart truly call on Jesus. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I surrender all. Forgive my deviations forgive me my sins I want to find you this very moment and I want to connect with your eternal purpose for my life Holy Spirit I pray that you as you convicted me of sin you may convict me also of righteousness. I believe with my heart what I speak with my mouth. Jesus has forgiven my sins, cleansed me with his blood, and made me righteous in him. I believe it and receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. For over 30 years, Evangelist Reinhard Duncan has gone throughout Africa and the rest of the world, proclaiming the truth of the gospel. Jesus saves, Jesus heals, Jesus truly loves you. There is a God who loves you. There is a 